husband. Yes, wife. Let's read the Bible. But we're atheists. Why would we want to do such a thing? Because we live in small town USA and everyone around us quotes this thing extensively and we have no idea how to respond? That's true. Neither of us grew up with religion, yet Christianity is playing a huge part in our country's politics. We're not scholars or academics, so sacrilegious discourse is our first take reaction. And this feed houses our reading of the book of Genesis, and each subsequent book will get its own separate feed too. Why are we separating each book? Not all podcast platforms allow access to older episodes. This will ensure our listeners don't lose access to any of our previously released material. You can find our most recent episodes on our main channel, Sacrilegious Discourse. That's right. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Husband. Wife. I have to apologize to you in advance. Because you sound like you smoked 10 packs of cigarettes? I do sound like that. I was going to say I sound like ass because I'm sick, but... Right. um, I mean, you can say you sound like ass. I either sound like I smoked 10 packs of cigarettes or I sound like ass. Whichever. Either way. Right. You suck. I suck and I'm sorry for it. Especially now that we have all these new listeners or whatever. I know. Hello, the all these new going people. On? Hi. Like, we got a bunch of new people listening today, apparently. They love me. Yeah. They love Keep me. Keep spreading the good word. They really love me. Join our cult of shittiness. <laughs> oh my God. You're an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> what, are, what the fuck are we doing today? Um. Well, before we say what we're about to do, let's ask you oh, our, yeah. our yeah. Uh, bi-weekly question. Do you remember what happened last time? I'm pretty sure we just finished up with Joseph and Jacob and all those fuckers. Yeah. Do you remember what those fuckers did? I know that Jacob died. And but just prior to that, like, he went to Egypt and saw his son and it was all happy dances. Oh, I do remember that they were, like, you know, taking advantage of all the poor people. Yes. There was this giant famine across Egypt. Right. And Pharaoh and, then, but and Joseph's Joseph. Joseph's family got it. You know, they did pretty well. They Because nepotism right. is what it's all about. You know, even though they sold him to slavers and, you know, dumped him yeah. in a, you know, whatever, well, right. whatever the hell it was. A sister. Sister, whatever. Same difference. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the people were like. I'll be your slave if you'll just let me not die of starvation, please. And they were like, well, okay. But say thank you, though. Yeah, but we're done with that now. Yeah. So what are yeah. we doing today? We're, or we, we think we're done with that anyway. We, yeah, are we I, don't, done with that? I don't know. Okay. Um, we've got three chapters of Genesis left. We are going to read those three final chapters today. Genesis chapters 48, 49, and 50. Wait, you mean we're finishing a book of the Bible? We are finishing a book of the Bible. Holy shit. I have never read an entire book of the Bible. I've never read an entire 10 minutes of a Bible before. <laughs> Same <Same-sies>. <laughs> Well, let's get this done and then we can, like, celebrate. Do you think we'll finally find out about Nimrod? No. Shit. I mean... We're going to have a bonus episode next time. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, hell. You're going to find all out about Nimrod. I mean, I'm going to show you what I learn about him. But before we do that, um, we're going to have a pop quiz. Okay. To see how much we remember about the book of Genesis you that we just read. You can go ahead and put me down for an F. Yeah, same. Same, okay. same, same. So, okay. <laughs> all right. So we were doing what again now? Today, the final three chapters which are of Genesis 47. No, 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 I'm sorry, 48, 49, and 50. Yes, wow, 50 chapters of the Bible. Yeah, yeah, are you ready? Yeah, I am. Let's do this. Okay, Genesis 
Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. <laughs> so we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it, es- it es- escalates on a sliding scale of, you know, cheap to, to not cheap. Oh. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So, what exactly is Patreon? It's a place where you can show your support for our podcast. And Just our podcast? Any podcast or any <laughs> performer. But, you know, we're the ones that, you know, you're listening to right now. So, maybe you should, uh, you know, support us. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But we love you anyway. So, all you got to do is go to Patreon. Look up Sacrilegious Discourse. It's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there. So, head on over and send us some love. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Genesis chapter 48. Jacob blesses Ephraim and Manasseh. Oh, I guess we're back to Jacob. So it's he's still, not dead yet. He lied. Well, yeah, like he died, and now he's back. Yeah, from not back from the dead, but we're probably going like retro or what it do they call it? Flashback. Flashback. Yeah, like when you put your hands up and you go jazz hands. Just, yeah, wave your hands in front of you, like ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. okay. We're in the past now. We're in the past. <laughs> Is it black and white? It's in black and white. I think white. it's in black and white. Yeah, okay. totally. Imagine black and white. Okay, ready? Yeah. One day, not long No. 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 Start no. that shit over. That's not black and white. No, you already have a cigarette voice. Just go oh with it. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> One day, not long after this, word came to Joseph, your father is failing rapidly. So Joseph went to visit his father and he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. When Joseph arrived, Jacob was told, your son Joseph has come to see you. So Jacob gathered his strength and sat up in his bed. Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me. He said to me, I will make you fruitful and I will multiply your descendants. I will make you a multitude of nations. Dude, he says that to everybody. Uh, No, you ain't ain't special. special. (laughs) (laughs) And I will give this land of Canaan to your descendants after you as an everlasting possession. He didn't mention he's going to make them slaves to you. Mm -hmm, But mm -hmm. whatever. Now I am claiming as my own sons these two boys of yours, Ephraim and Manasseh, who were born here in the land of Egypt before I arrived. They will be my sons, just as Reuben and Simon are. But any children... Wait, did he just literally steal his grandchildren from Joseph and be like, yoink, these kids mine now? It sounds like it. I thought he was like being symbolic, but now he's going, but any children born to you in the future will be your own. And they will inherit land within the territories of their brothers, Ephraim and Manasseh. Long ago, as I was returning from Padanaram, Bananarama, Rachel died in the land of Canaan. We were still, we were still on the way some distance from Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. So with great sorrow, I buried her there beside the road to Ephrath. Then Jacob looked over at the two boys. Are these your sons? He asked. Yes, Joseph told him, these are the sons God has given me here in Egypt. And Jacob said, bring them closer to me so I can bless them. I would be kind of scared. I would be what, like. Dude's about to die and he's taking his sons. What does that yeah. even mean to I, take his sons? I, I don't, don't know. Get it. Is he like, well, he's blessing them as his own sons. So is he blessing I them? Yes. Like you get Jacob inheritance, not just your dad inheritance. I mean. Joseph seems to be doing all right for himself. I know, right? Like, thanks. No thanks. Right? I'm good without your pops. I don't need your help, Dad. Right? Got this. Jacob was half blind because of his age and could hardly see. So Joseph brought the boys close to him and Jacob kissed and embraced them. That's what every kid loves, to be hugged and kissed by old people. Especially when it's like on their deathbed. Right? You're reading over my shoulder. I don't like it. You don't typically do that. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, normally you don't read over my shoulder. I mean, it's not like it's a secret. It's the fucking Bible. No, I know. But if I mess up, like, normally I can just, like, keep going like I didn't mess up. But what? So I'd point it out and laugh at you like I do on the show anyway? Yeah, but you might do it more often if you actually are able to catch me. Well, the audience will love it. No, they won't. They're on my side. <laughs> they don't want you to read over my shoulder. <laughs> okay. 
I did a poll. Survey Carrie, says. You didn't do any poll. Oh, I did. We just, whatever. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Then Jacob said to Joseph, I never thought I would see your face again, but now God has let me see your children too. God, this is repetitive. Joseph moved the boys who were at their grandfather's knees and he bowed with his face to the ground. Then he positioned the boys in front of Jacob. With his right hand, he directed Ephraim toward Jacob's left hand. And with his left hand, he put Manasseh at Jacob's right hand. Right, left, right, left. Are you picturing? I. It Does was, it really matter? No, it was too hard, though. Okay. It was like a game of chess there with handses and rightses and leftses. Right. But Jacob crossed his arms as he reached out to lay his hands on the boys' heads. He put his right hand on the head of Ephraim, though he was the younger boy, and his left hand on the head of Manasseh, though he was the firstborn. Then he blessed Joseph and said, May the God before whom my grandfather Abraham and my father Isaac walked, the God who has been my shepherd all my life to this very day, the angel who has redeemed me from all harm, may he bless these boys. May they preserve my name and the names of Abraham and Isaac." And may their descendants multiply greatly throughout the earth. Right. Yeah. yeah. Be fruitful, multiply, descendants yeah. like the sand. I have to ask a question, though. What? What was with the crossing of the hands, and why does it matter which one was the I... right hand and the left hand? Is it? Are they indicating that the right hand gives a stronger blessing? Like, I think that this is about the older son, younger son thing right. that we're about to get into. Okay. I don't know. I just, but, like, is this for, like, you know... Yeah. Left hand, right hand. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Like it matters. Yeah, right. It, not to us. Right. But to these people it matters. Sure. And we're about to find out, I think, why. Okay. But Joseph was upset when he saw that his father placed his right hand on Ephraim's head. So Joseph lifted it to move it from Ephraim's head to Manasseh's head. No, my father, he said. This one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. But his father refused. I know, my son, I know, he replied. Manasseh will also become a great people, but his younger brother will become even greater. Jesus. But you're what? the one making it happen. You're apparently. like on purpose sowing discord between these two kids. What a dick. Can't this you just be the whole purpose just, of the Bible? Just sure. fucking die. Die quiet. <laughs> Go peaceful. And his descendants will become a multitude of nations. Yeah, they all will. We know. We fucking know. Right. So Jacob blessed the boys that day with his blessing. He blessed them with a blessing. Mm. I yeah, mean, that's, great that, that's how blessings go. That's good writing. The people of Israel will use your names when they give a blessing. They will say, may God make you as prosperous as Ephraim and Manasseh. In this way, Jacob put Ephraim ahead of Manasseh. I mean, personally, I'd rather be as profitable as Bezos, but that's just me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That came out of left field. Like, I had to think. I was like, Bezos. Oh, Bezos. I see what you did there. Okay. Okay. Then Jacob said to Joseph, look, I'm about to die. I love how I say look all the time. Like, you're, look. You're complimenting your look. You're, yeah. you're complimenting the way you say a word. Yeah, I am. You're not letting me compliment it. You're complimenting yourself. That is correct. Okay. I, sure it we makes were, me happy. I just want to make sure we were clear on that. It makes me happy. That's good. Look, I'm about to die, but God will be with you and will take you back to Canaan, the land of your ancestors. And beyond what I have given your brothers, I am now giving you an extra portion of the land that I took from the Amorites with my sword and bow. The end. Okay. So he blessed a bunch of people, but extra blessed the right hand young ch child. and then, Whichever one. And then the left hand child was sort of blessed, but not as much. And apparently right hand, left hand means different things. Yeah, one's better than the other. But they didn't really cover that. Yeah, who cares? Right. Whatever. Okay. We'll figure it out. But I was wrong. We're still in the story of Jacob and Joseph and all that. It so. never ends. So apparently we might end the Bible with them, possibly. We could. Or not the Bible, I'm sorry. No, just Genesis. Stay with us. We got 60 more books, so <laughs> don't go anywhere. 60 more books, Jesus. Okay. It's um, true. I think there's like 66 total or some right, shit. yeah. So, uh, all right, well, let's go on to chapter 49. Yes. All right, be there in just a moment. Yeah. Okay, Genesis chapter 49, Jacob's prophecy concerning his sons. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> Does this include the sons? I wonder if it includes the sons that he just took from Joseph. The stolen grandsons. <laughs> yeah, the stolen grandsons. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> then Jacob called together all his sons and said, Gather around me and I will tell you what will happen to each of you in the days to come. Come and listen, you sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my strength, the child of my vigorous youth. You are first in rank and first in power, but you are as unruly as a flood, and you will be first no longer, for you went to bed with my wife. You defiled what? my marriage couch. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Damn. This is like hardcore. This is like Mari Povich or some shit. Went to bed with his wife. Ew. Holy shit. Ew, ew. I think I kind of remember that. But yeah, that just kind of came out of nowhere. He's like, like I'm about to die. We clear in the air now. <laughs> right? Simon and Levi are two of a kind. Their weapons are instruments of violence. May I never join in their meetings. May I never be a party to their plans. For in their anger, they murdered men and they crippled oxen just for sport. A curse on their anger, for it is fierce. A curse on their wrath, for it is cruel. I were scared. I will scatter them among the descendants of Jacob. I will disperse them throughout Israel. Now, didn't God say at some point that a murderer has to be, like, executed? Yeah. I recall I, that being a thing. I think it just depends on the mood. Right. It's yeah, not, no, nothing, I, nothing, nothing in... Nothing solid. Yeah. It's just, like, whatever... If you're, like, one of God's people, you get a little bit more leeway it's than if you're not. It's a suggestion, not a hardcore law. Like, if you have our blessing, eh. Well, keep in mm. mind, this shit wasn't written down at that point either. No, I know. So, yeah. it was kind of like, mm, we'll let this one go. I really like this guy. I guess. But I just... could you imagine, like, like your dad is about to die, and you've lived with him, your whole family, all your life. He's about to die, and then all of a sudden, he's like, oh, and by the way. Right. On his way out the door. Yeah. That's cold. Mm-hmm. He Jude, just dragged his ass halfway across the I world. I know. So. I know. But, I mean, think about this. Like, oh, and I'm about to die, and there's no time for you to make it up to me. The end. Right. Right? That sucks. What a dick, honestly. Yeah. And taking his kid, taking Joseph's kids. And, yeah. Like, yeah. What the hell is he doing? Well, I think that he's saying, all my sons suck, and I'm taking these two as my sons, meaning that they're going to get the blessings oh. that I don't give to you. That's what I think. I see, I see. I think this is a good thing for... So he hates all of his sons except for Joseph and, and Benjamin. Joseph. He loves and Benjamin, Benjamin right. the baby. Okay. And probably he likes... What was that one that um, went to go free Simon? No, that was Reuben, and he just said yeah. Reuben's a bad boy. Right. Wow. That's... That's harsh. I mean, he slept with his wife, so... Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that would, yeah, kind yeah. of be the end of things. Judah, your brothers will praise you. You will grasp your enemies by the neck. All your relatives will bow before you. Judah, my son, is a young lion that has finished eating its prey. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down. Like a lioness, who dares to rouse him? The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from his descendants, until the coming of the one to whom it belongs, the one whom all nations will honor. He ties his foal to a grapevine, the colt of his donkey to a choice vine. He washes his clothes in wine, his robes in the blood of grapes. His eyes are darker than wine, and his teeth are whiter than milk. Wow. I didn't, I didn't really... Was that all good? Like, you're good, man. I mean, it sounded like, yeah. Was, I think it was all good. Right. That was cool. I mean, I didn't really understand, like, the goodness of it, but it was kind of cool. Right, because it was kind of wrapped in, like, a yeah. bunch of like, metaphorical... Stuff. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Zebulon will settle by the seashore and will be a harbor for ships. His borders will extend to Sidon. Issachar is a sturdy donkey resting between two saddle packs. When he sees how good the countryside is and how pleasant the land, he will bend his shoulder to the load and submit himself to hard labor. So he's a steady ass. He's a steady <laughs> ass. Nice. Sorry. Dan will govern his people like any other tribe in Israel. Dan will be a snake beside the road, a poisonous viper along the path that bites the horse's hooves so its rider is thrown off. I trust in you for salvation, O Lord. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gad will be a... I mean... 
that, that, <laughs> random, right? That was random, yeah. Yeah. Gad will be attacked by marauding bands, but he will attack them when they retreat. Asher will dine on rich foods and produce food fit for kings. Naphtali is a doe set free that bears beautiful fawns. Joseph is the foal of a wild donkey, the foal of a wild donkey at a spring, one of the wild donkeys on the ridge. Archers attacked him savagely. They shot at him and harassed him, but his bow remained taut and his arms were strengthened by the hands of the mighty one of Jacob, by the shepherd, the rock of Israel. May the God of your father help you. May the Almighty bless you with the blessings of the heavens above and blessings of the watery depths below and blessings of the breasts and womb. May my fatherly blessings on you surpass the blessings of my ancestors, reaching to the heights of the eternal hills. May these blessings rest on the head of Joseph, who is a prince among his brothers. Wow, Joseph got a heck of a lot of blessing going on there. Joseph is awesome. Awesome is Joseph. A W E S O M E. Awesome. Awesome apparently is he. Gonna, apparently, he's going to get him some wombs and breasts. Yeah, he's going to get so. that titty. <laughs> Benjamin is a ravenous wolf, devouring his enemies in the morning and dividing his plunder in the evening. Whoa, I thought mm. he liked Benjamin. Well, I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, okay. All right. <coughs> Um, we're still in the same chapter, but next section. The okay. death and burial of Jacob. Yeah. Dude needs to die. No shit. Right. Yeah. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, and this is what their father said as he told his sons goodbye. He blessed each one with an appropriate message. Then Jacob instructed them, soon I will die and join my ancestors. Bury me with my father and grandfather in the cave in the field of Ephron the Hittite. Is that the same place for... This is the cave in the field of Machpelah near Mamre and Canaan that Abraham bought from Ephron the Hittite huh. as a permanent burial site. That's cool. There, Abraham and his wife Sarah are buried. There, Isaac and his wife Rebecca are buried. And there, I buried Leah. It is the plot of land and the cave that my grandfather Abraham bought from the Hittites for the fucking third time. Mm hmm when Jacob had finished this charge to his sons, he drew his feet into the bed, breathed his last, and joined his ancestors in death. The end. Bye-bye, Jacob. Bye, Jacob. See you in the next life. Have fun in your cave. <laughs> <laughs> cave burial. <laughs> so I don't really have anything to add about that. Yeah, no. Let's just find out what happened in the last installment, yeah, right? Here we go. We're going to go chapter. through the last chapter of the Bible. Let's get a hell no, yeah. of not of the Genesis, that's what I meant. Of the Genesis, oh my god, you're an idiot. Let's get a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Genesis yeah. chapter 50? Yeah! I'm so excited. We just are about to finish Genesis. That, I'm just so excited. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Quick, before like a meteor hits us or something. Wouldn't that be funny? No, it would not. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be funny, but it would be like, you know. Uh, appropriate. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially given it's 2020. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Joseph threw himself on his father and wept over him and kissed him. Then Joseph told the physicians who served him to embalm his father's body. So Jacob was embalmed. The embalming process took the usual for 40 days. You know. 40 days The to usual embalm? 40 days. Damn, can you imagine if it took people 40 days to embalm nowadays? No, and think about it this way, too. Like, now we have these nice freezers and, like, you know, medical things that right. we do. Like, back then, it was just cave and you. Yeah. That body was full rot. Right. And the Egyptians mourned his death for 70 days. When the period of mourning was over, Joseph approached Pharaoh's advisors and said, Please do me this favor and speak to Pharaoh on my behalf. Tell him that my father made me swear an oath. He said to me, Listen, I'm about to die. Take my body back to the land of Canaan and bury me in the tomb I prepared for myself. So please allow me to go and bury my father. After his burial, I will return without delay. Wait. He had 70 days to tell the Pharaoh this himself, and he just, like, shoves it off on some other person. Like, hey. At the last minute. Could you, like, tell him, I'll, I'll peace out. I'll be back in a bit. Yeah, yeah. Or something. 
Well, I guess when you're in mourning, there's like certain rules, and one of oh. them is probably like who you're allowed to talk to during that time or whatever. I guess, but 70 days seems pretty. I bet those commoners that were begging for food, I bet they don't get 70 fucking days. Right? I bet you're right. <laughs> Pharaoh agreed to Joseph's request. Go and bury your father as he made you promise, he said. So Joseph went up to bury his father. He was accompanied by all of Pharaoh's officials, all the senior members of Pharaoh's household, and all the senior officers of Egypt. That is so lucky. Like, these guys didn't even really know Jacob. The fuck? Well, he was basically running Egypt, though. Remember? Jacob wasn't. Oh, Joseph yeah, yeah. No, was. But that's why they went. They didn't go because of Jacob. They went because of Joseph. But I'm just saying, like, damn. Right. Joseph also took his entire household and his brothers and their households. But they left their little children and flocks and herds in the land of Goshen. A great number of chariots and charioteers accompanied Joseph. What's the difference between a chariot and a charioteer? Um, I don't know. I could tell by your long length. I was of trying silence. to think of something really funny, but I didn't. I, know. I got nothing. I was like chariot with beer, chariot. Nothing. That's where it stopped. Nothing. And yeah. chariot with beer was just not good enough. So no, I was like, no. I stopped myself. Yeah. But then I said it anyway. So you you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> when they arrived at the threshing floor of Atad near the Jordan River, they held a very great and solemn memorial service with a seven-day period of mourning for Jesus, Joseph's they just got father. Done with Seventy days, and then they stop at some fucking yep. river, and they're like, "Let's do it again for seven days." They sure as fuck did. The local residents, the Canaanites, watched them mourning at the threshing floor of Atad. Then they renamed that place because that's what they always do, right? Which is near the Jordan. Abel Mizram, for they said, this is a place of deep mourning for these Egyptians. So Jacob's sons did as he had commanded them. They carried his body to the land of Canaan and buried him in the cave in the field of Machpelah near Mamre. This is the cave that Abraham had bought as a permanent burial site from Ephron the Hittite. Remember, 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 remember. He was just going to give it to him. And then he was like, nah, man, I'm going to pay you. (laughs) Shut up and take my money. 400 silver. Oh, yeah. Something like that. I don't remember. After burying Jacob, Joseph returned to Egypt with his brothers and all who had accompanied him to his father's burial. Okay. Uh Uh-oh, we about to end things. Ready? Okay. The death of Joseph. Oh, Joseph going to die. Womp womp. But now that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers became fearful. You know, it'd be Fe- funny. Fearful, not fearful. It'd be funny if they just like the, like the title of the thing was the death of Joseph. And they're like, and then five days later, Joseph died because sometimes the Bible does shit like that. It's true, but there's a few paragraphs yeah, here. No, I know. Let me read them. Yeah. Now Joseph will show his anger and pay us back for all the wrong we did to him. They said the brothers. Yeah. No, I got it. Yeah. So they sent this message to Joseph. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a hard time with. Um, words everything it's hard it's hard to talk and breathe right now everything's stuffy yeah so they sent this message to joseph before your father died he instructed us to say to you please forgive your brothers (laughs) for the great wrong they did to you (laughs) i'm sorry it's so fucking stupid I would have thought that would have been something he would have told him himself. I would know? I would think so, yeah, yeah. yeah. For their sin in, cre- in treating you so cruelly. So we, the servants of the God of your father, beg you to forgive our sin. Not because they're sorry, but because they're like, oh, shit, he's like a king. That's it. Yeah. No, come on, man. Yeah. Totally sorry. When Joseph received the message, he broke down and wept. What a fool. Then his brothers came and threw themselves down before Joseph. Look, we are your slaves, they said. But Joseph replied, don't be afraid of me. Am I God that I can punish you? You intended to harm me, but God intended it all for good. He brought me to this position so I could save the lives of many people and take them as slaves. Yeah, right. No, don't be afraid. I will continue to take care of you and your children. So he reassured them by speaking kindly to them. So Joseph and his brothers and their families continued to live in Egypt. Joseph lived to the age of 110. He lived to see three generations of descendants of his son Ephraim, and he lived to see the birth of the children of Manasseh's son Machir, whom he claimed as his own. Soon I will die, Joseph told his brothers, but God will surely come to help you and lead you out of this land of Egypt. He will bring you back to the land he solemnly promised to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. 
Then Joseph made the sons of Israel swear an oath, and he said, When God comes to help you and lead you back, you must take my bones with you. So Joseph died again at the age of 110. Mm -hmm. The Egyptians embalmed him, and his body was placed in a coffin in Egypt. The end. And then apparently at some point they're going to move his bones. Okay. And like, I'll celebrate that we just read the entire book of Genesis momentarily, but I just got to say, like, none of them had to leave Egypt, it seems. Did I miss something? Right. No. I mean, and they, it seems like also they could have gone back anytime and they did multiple times. Yeah. But now all of a sudden they're like, oh no, we're stuck here. Or, you know what? I said leave Egypt, but I meant. None of them were forced to go to Egypt, but now they're like, oh, no, we're stuck in Egypt. Whatever shall we do? We have to leave someday. God promised us that land over there, which, you know, we were fucking living Just on. Go fucking sit. There. Go. Go. Yeah. I don't go understand. It. Like it. It. All this time, I thought that they were like dragged to Egypt against their will and forced right, to stay there. There's no reason that they can't be in the land that God promised. So why aren't they there? Yeah, I don't know. And why know. do they go all over the goddamn place and, like, you know... Yeah, they spread out for, like, no fucking reason. Yeah, that's weird. I don't get it. Now I'm understanding this animosity less and less. So, okay, so there's that. But also, we just finished the book of Genesis. Yay! Holy shit. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Was it a good book? No. No. It no. sucked. Yeah, it was really rough. I mean, the Joseph story, that was the best part of it. But even that sucked. Yeah. Let's be honest. Like, the bar is low. The bar is low when there's, like, rapes every five seconds. And, and incest. Yeah. And incest rapes. Yeah. 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 yeah no, there was, there was some, a lot of shittiness. Yeah. And slavery. So much slavery. And, I mean, they killed Ur. Okay, <laughs> that is not something I was going to list as a complaint, but okay. But I mean, it was just like, bam, dude, you're dead. Yeah, for like, no reason. Bam. And then his brother, he died too. I can't remember yep. his name. I like Ur, though. I like, like Ur. Ur is just a great name. It, Ur. Strong. And Nimrod. Yeah. Nimrod. Yeah. Ur and Nimrod. Nimrod and Ur. That's all we're going to remember from Genesis. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, well, I mean... It, we're going to do, uh, you mentioned bonus episodes though, right? Yeah, next time is going to be, okay, so this episode is coming out on a Thursday. So um, next week, which is, you know, Tuesday. a Tuesday, um, we're going to have a bonus episode and it's going to start with a pop quiz and we're going to see how well we do, how, mo- how well we remember, and there's going to be some um, summarizing stuff. And I might give a little contextual information and see what I can dig up on um, that guy Nimrod that you're so fond of. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then after we're done with the bonus episodes, what's going to be the next book of the Bible? Um, Exodus. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So we've got a bonus episode to wrap up Genesis and then we will start season two, which is the book of Exodus. Awesome. Well, congratulations on making it all the way through Genesis. And if you've listened to every episode with us so far, I'm sorry. And thank you. Oh my God. But you know what? I just realized like, not only did we finish the book of Genesis, but anybody who listened from the beginning, like, yeah, congratulations to you totally because you finished it too. And that's cool. I've never read an entire anything of the Bible. So if you are like me, you know, Pat yourself on the back. That's really cool. I yeah. mean, not because I think the Bible's all, you know, it. Like, right, right. I don't I don't think it's all it was cracked up to be. But, you know, you did the thing. Good on you. It's definitely not what it's portrayed to be. Right. Yeah. That's for sure. I'm, I'm not finding the Holy Spirit in it yet. No. I'm finding the Holy shit in it. <laughs> 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 definitely some Holy shit going on there. All right, guys. Well, we will see you next week with yep. the bonus episode. Yep. So have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Yep. Bye. Husband. Yes, wife. Um, Is there a way for people to contact us? Well, sure. They can uh, get on our Twitter account. We have a Twitter account? We do. What is it? It is sacrilegious underscore D. Like D for discourse? Yeah, they wouldn't let me put the whole thing, so I had to shorten it to 
underscore D. I hate them. Yeah, that's disgusting. How do you spell sacrilegious? Do you know? I don't want to. Just look it up in a dictionary <laughs> or something. I don't. I don't want to do that right now. You know why? Sacrilegious you, underscore D. Okay. Because you messed it up and I made you fix it. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. What about an email? Yeah, we got that too. What Sac- is it? Sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail dot com. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah. As long as you know how to spell sacrilegious. Right. Well, definitely get a hold of us. Let us know what you th- thought of the episode. And, you know, any comments, hate mail, we love that kind of stuff. Also, you could answer some questions that we leave throughout or, like, correct my pronunciations. Yeah, please. Which are probably bad, wrong, and horrible. Because we suck sometimes. Absolutely! Oh, also, you know, if you like this shit or whatnot, um, like, give us a like on your podcasting app and stuff or even leave a comment or something. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Goodbye.